the pseudo-intellectual hero to the incel community. Incel being these weirdo loner men uh, who are you know, despicable in many ways. Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these people? Sure. Why not? You know, um, people have been after me for a long time by because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. It's making you emotional to talk about that. Well, God, you know. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly, many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults, these, these incels. What do they mean? It's like, well, these men, they're, they don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women, like, be picky. That's, that's your gift, man. All these men who are alienated, it's like they're lonesome and, and, and they don't know what to do and everyone piles abuse on them. You got very emotional. Why? It's really something to see. Pardon my French. Constantly. You're How many people are dying for a lack of an encouraging word? And how easy it is to provide that if you're perfect. Mr. Peterson. You know, give credit where credit is due. And to say, you're a net force for good. If you want to. Do you believe you're a net force for good? Net? Yes. In all the details? Probably not. You know, no one's perfect. So.